Oh, so on the spiked one, they lose their legs. Wow, she died. Okay, they lose their legs here. And welcome to another 7 Days to Die video. And first, what you should do is pause the video. I mean, not immediately. Hold on, give me a moment. You should pause the video, but before you do that, well, well, after you do that and before you unpause, is go check the description below and join my Discord. And then you can unpause and continue viewing. All right, so uh, I had a question in the past regarding the barbed wire and the barbed wire fences. Which one is better? And that's a good question. I've normally used the uh, barbed wire, but they're so tough to see. You have the barbed wire fences, and then you have the spike. So I thought, let me try all of them and see, hey, how how do they work? So let's take this one. Uh, not the advanced rotation, you want to copy rotation. And let's put down five of them, all right? And then for this one, let's put down five total. And of course, we're going to have five spikes, all right? So it's all there. I do have an electric fence right in front of here so I can see when the zombies reach there. Oop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can spawn in uh, some zombies. Uh, let's see, let's do this way, F6. Look at me, uh, let's, do a, let's do a cheerleader. So what we're going to do, we're going to see off, uh, well, let's first start here. Uh, with LE, list entities, which shows that they have health, 120. Um, so I'm going to let them walk up here and we are going to see, well, how much damage do they have when they reach here and who reaches first. So um, reaching first might be a little bit tougher because they can't all see me uh, the right way. So let me see if I get, a, let me get an AK-47 here so I can make some noise and get it some bullets. That can be a bit of an issue, which I've had in the past, and I don't want to get the feral ones uh, because obviously it's a little bit tougher um, if they run too fast. So let's do this. All right, so now they're all walking. Oh, so on the spiked one, they lose their legs. Wow, she died. Okay, they lose their legs here. Now it seems actually. Let's do an alley here. The health is about the same, but they're crawling a lot faster on these ones. Yeah. The damage taken seems to be about the same, but it's a huge difference in speed to... Oh, that's really nice. And now she won! We have a winner! But look at this. She's taking so much longer to get... Okay, can you be quiet, please? Okay, thank you very much. There's a huge difference in speed here. I thought the slowdown would be about the same. Oh, that's really interesting, which means that you should actually be using the fences. Now, to make the fence, let's see, the barbed wire fence, you need 8 iron and 10 wood. To make the barbed wire itself, it's... 15 so yeah okay so let's uh, do this okay uh, can i get rid of this one oh shoes okay so let's do a slightly different change let's see if we get a feral see if that has any effect at all so okay let's pause the ai again and let's bring in a feral cheerleader all right so now we have three of them again and uh, yeah let's see let's we enable the AI and see here. No, this is a. If you look at this, well, the health is about the same uh, that they take. Obviously, this one takes a lot more because of. Uh, <laughs> well, you see the electric fence doing its thing. Oh! Look at this one. The feral one is not taking any damage. Oh, now it is. It lost the legs. Ah, and now it's going to take damage. Yeah, so until they lose their legs, they don't take damage. Okay, this one is going to die now. But it's still really slow. So what does this mean? Well, it means that as they run uh, into it, 
their legs take damage, but leg is not the same as the health damage on the actual zombie. So there's no body damage. And of course, the health points that they have is really body damage. It's only as soon as they've taken the, well, they've lost the legs and they're down into that they're taking body damage. And that's when you see the body damage coming down. That's a huge difference in speed. I mean, this is really slow. So yeah, I think it's uh, confirmed. Use your spikes if you want to kill them. But if you want to slow them down, well, use the barbed wire fences. It's a huge difference. Okay, can you... Uh, let's do a last test here. Um, I'm going to try to... Let's see if I can remove these ones and put them uh, maybe head level. Not head level, what I'm talking about. Uh, body level like this. Let's see if that makes any difference. Okay, go. Okay, so let's do that, um, and let's do another feral. So let's see again if the positioning makes any difference. And we have ready, set, go. Oh yeah, it does. But this one, it's beating on them because it's in the way. This one, it's just attacking it. Oh, she broke one. Yeah, she's going to try and break through them. And as soon as she does, of course, she's going to go to the next one. Yeah. And let's see now. Does she attack them? She doesn't attack them, but the speed seems to be about the same. So going on top of them, the placement matter. I usually place them straight down. Um, I guess this way will hold them back about the same amount but they will start beating it when it's on basically in the way whereas these ones they don't beat and of course that's better because once they're broken through you have nothing if there were more zombies here obviously they would come back and they'll be slow down so i think that's um i would call this decided use the barbed wire fences because they're not going to target them and bash them and they're going to slow down a lot actually this one <laughs> She is, seems to be totally stuck. She's not getting through it at all. Okay, now I'm a bit confused. This one, she's moving. This one is not moving at all. But they're all taking damage. Oh, and now this one is broken. Okay, they take a little bit of damage. Um, is there a wolf around? There wolf around? I guess so. Maybe there's something out here. So yeah, you use the barbed wire fences, then at least they will not attack them. Um, all of them will degrade, obviously, as you can see. But yeah, if they are just uh, placing like this, the zombie will attack them and break them. Whereas barbed wire fences, they will just well try to run through, and they'll be slowed down. So I would definitely use them. Of course, they're not going to last too long, as you can see. They will slow them down, but they're not going to last super long. Well, that's it. Thank you, Christine, for the suggestion. If you have any more testing and guide suggestions that you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you one next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.